So what we've been recently doing is um, we, we've been having a cycle which is called Celtic Connection and this is a, a little bit of a different of a cycle because it's joined by backpipes and I, when I say backpipes I mean like 20 deep. How, how many how many players like percussion and backpipes? Well there are about 10 drummers and uh, 12 to 15 bagpipers that work with us and we've been doing this collaboration with the, the Pipes and Drums of Carnegie Mellon oh, University yeah. for about four years. I think this is the fourth year. Oh, okay. So it's not and, that. It's pretty uh, recent. It's quite recent. Yeah. And we've been each year adding new arrangements, new repertoire, so that the Pipes and Drums can play with the brass band. And uh, it is a pretty awesome sound. It's pretty awesome. But the, the CD is uh, back in... What, when's the latest? Because all the recordings are live. They, they are live, none of them are edited, it's raw, raw recordings. And when's the latest recording? Because I know you've been picking up, mm. uh, re-listening to recordings from multiple cycles. So what what's the title of the latest recording and when, when was it? Do you know the date by any chance? Yeah, well, we to make this CD, we recorded nine separate concerts um, with roughly the same pieces. And so that meant that we could choose from nine uh, separate instances of a single piece to find the best one. I didn't want to do edi any editing because I sometimes think that editing a CD takes away the energy of it. It yeah. becomes a dead thing. And uh, the performances on this particular CD come from a range of concerts that we did in 2016 in March and 2017 in March. Okay. But the bulk of the, the, the recordings that I selected yeah. came from a single concert. And that was at Greens, the Palace Theatre at Greensburg oh. in 2017, it'd be March the 8th, something oh, like okay. that. Now, when I listened to the, that concert, I realised that it was one of those concerts that was just fantastic. Okay. And uh, so I used that as the basis uh, to choose most of the pieces from that. And it's called Celtic Connections because we connect Scottish and Irish music to Kentucky bluegrass and country and western. Yeah. We do that through the the ideas that the the Scottish fiddlers when they came to America, the Irish fiddlers. Well, Scottish being in Pittsburgh is a big thing, isn't it's it? It's a huge thing. But, but when the first wave of immigrants came, they brought their fiddles, they brought their music, and then they went into Appalachia, they went into the West, mm -hmm. and that music morphed into what we now call country and western. So it's a great it's a great synergy between the two types of music, and on the CD it sounds fantastic. It's uh, it's funny. Backpipes fit very well uh, the brass band, at least in my opinion, from my experience. It's one thing I'm really glad I'm sitting sitting in the back row, is, um, most people I don't think most people realize what it's like when you're having thirty brass players in your face and then twenty like ten oh. additional percussion players and ten backpipes or whatever back in your ear and that's. Uh, that <laughs> Yes, it, it is extremely loud. I notice the bagpipers themselves all wear earplugs. They're all, yeah, not just the regular earplugs. They actually have the fancy ones. Yeah, they have to have the special ones because the, the bagpipe really is an instrument of war. It's supposed, so to, be loud, on, it's supposed to be on the battlefield yeah. and scare the enemy. And, uh, well, it's certainly it quite didn't work scary. Out. It didn't work out very well, did it? Not always, no. <laughs> not, not always. always. <laughs> That's but uh, yeah, but it's a beautiful show that the, the Celtic connections and uh, it's just a, a, an indication of the flexibility of the River City Brass Band, the range of music that we were able to play, the range of uh, uh, different genres that we play quite easily. I think that's pretty impressive. You have a favorite piece from the program? Oh, from the Celtic program. Yeah. Well, I like two of them. Um, one is the, our arrangement of uh, of Amazing Grace, which is a simple arrangement, but uh, it seems to touch the heart of the audience. They seem to go crazy for that. And then the other one is the is the time to say goodbye. That's the Andrea Bocelli uh, song, oh, which yeah. is uh, because the bagpipes only really play in one key. We the band starts in quite a remote key, and there's and a quick modulation. modulation. Yeah. And when the bagpipes come in at that modulation point, I think it's just electric. That. Yeah.